Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is July 22nd, 2023. And during prayer, the Lord began to speak. And what he told me was amazing. It is amazing, but awfully a warning to those who are not walking right with him. Please listen, receive, and obey his holy word. It comes from the Spirit of God and from his holy word. Please listen, receive, and obey. Here it goes. Let us pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious King, to thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. To thank you for this word, this message, this warning that you have given unto each and every one of us, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my Lord and my King. And this is also a word of encouragement that you have for all of us who are ready, waiting, and watching for your appearance in the heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen and amen. First he told me to read unto you First Thessalonians chapter 5. But of the times and of the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord is so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. That ye brethren are not in darkness, that ye that, that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet of hope and salvation. For God hath not appointed us to the wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even also ye do. Okay, brethren, here is the message. Soon the light of the world shall be taken up, says the Lord God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. I am he who has come in the flesh, and I am coming again. My beloved children, I am here to say to you all, to all who have ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart to receive. Revelation 22, verse 13 speaks about him being the Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end, and the first and the last. My beloved children, I am here to say to all who have ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart to receive what I am saying unto thee all ye are going to see many things in the days ahead but fear not for I have not given thee the spirit of fear 
but of love, power, and a sound mind. For ye shall know your time is at hand when ye see these things coming about. Romans 8, 15 Look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. Luke 21, 28 Meaning, my coming is even closer than ye think, and ye must be ready waiting and watching for me to appear in the air, my children. For I will show ye many things. Keep your eyes open in the coming days. Love Yeshua, your bridegroom, the Prince of Peace. Confirmation number 11, the rapture. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, our time is at hand. That's what he said. Our time is at hand. Our time is at hand. We see all these things coming about in the world and in Israel and Jerusalem. We don't have to see anything else. To know that our redemption draws nigh. Brethren, for when the Lord says, fear not, that's what he means. Fear not. For these things must come to pass. In order of us, in order for us to go home, prophecy must be fulfilled. And amen. It is being fulfilled this very day. Many of ye, many of you, God always says ye, many of you are allowing fear to come unto you. That's why the Lord gave me this message. Do not let fear come unto you and knock you down and keep you down. There is a lie. Fear comes from the father of lies. Do not allow the spirit of fear to come unto you. That's why Jesus says in his word that he has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We're going home, children of God. We're going home. Just be ready, waiting, and watching. For at any moment, He will call us home to be with Him for all eternity. Be blessed. Shalom. And we'll see you in the air. Ooh, ooh, hallelujah. We will see you in the air. Be at peace, for he has given each and every one of us his peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. And brethren, pray for us. Pray for each and every one of your brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus throughout the whole world. Greet all the brethren with a holy kiss, and I charge you by the Lord that this message be spoken unto all the holy brethren and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.